So we were just talking to Jill moments ago and she spoke very highly of you all. She said that she hand selected the cast for this show. So how does that feel knowing you kind of booked it without, you know, even having to go through the, the hoops that you would typically have to go through? I felt her hands all over me. Yeah. Actually, yeah. I really it. did. No, all like the way to Los Angeles. That was actually a problem on the yeah. set. Yeah. Jill was right. a little specifically with Joanna, not not with me. <laughs> yeah, Bravo. Joanna, but how could you not? Yep. Really how relax. could you not with this dame? Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, and no, we 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 are all so lucky. I to all be together. What a family. What a great family. They, but but it, it feels great, and it was it was so fun. I. Uh, you know, I, I watched, they had put a little presentation together and I watched it and they said, hey, they, you know, do you, you want to have breakfast with Jill? And I, I jumped and said, oh my God, I'd love it. And read a little about her and picked yeah. up one of her books, Rockstar and C3A, yeah, which was Your great. I did, oh, it was yeah. great. I mean, and, uh, and oh my goodness, we just hit it off instantly and uh, it became like a two hour breakfast it was a hoot and it's kind of been a hoot ever since now she's your work wife you have to like her yeah. i know which is a treat and her her real life husband harry is a, is a terrific guy i met him many times <laughs> he's required to say that no he's a really you good know, guy. Really you is. know what's fun really he's is a lucky fella is having the, the lead mm -hmm. also be the writer mm -hmm. that's that really makes it interesting you because she's that. well it's just that she's had these things actually happen mm -hmm. to her so she's writing about something that's very next to her heart and so she can tell it with great panache and, and share that with us so that we get to sort of experience it through her and she, get to tell her she story was which is magnificent very like i mean everybody on the set from day one like she's never she never acted you know she did a lot of plays at yale but but that's you know been a couple of years and then uh, god she's so natural she's fantastic she, you know and uh, and it was true. It all the way, carried all the way through. You sort of yeah. felt like you had to. Wait, we we got to keep up with Cargman here. Up. She's fantastic. Yeah, right. Step up. Well, because the show ha isn't so overproduced. It has mm -hmm. this one voice behind it. It really has a beating heart and soul, and it you can feel good. it when you watch it. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I can tell from the two and a half minute interview that we just did that she's got camera presence. She has no filter, which is amazing. None. <laughs> and she grew up in, in this whole world, and uh, her parents did a spectacular job in keeping her sane and not, you know, going off the rails as yeah. it sometimes can happen in any in any world, I guess. But uh, and and yeah, she's just so darn funny and quick, and you burst out laughing countless times throughout the day and, and, and her isms I'm always you know once twice a day I would always say what all right what does that mean what is that one she would have some you know shortened version of a word or she speaks you know. virtually a different language and I can't even <laughs> imitate I can't even I wish I could yeah right it could be on uh, Star Trek language. can you give us an example of a word that she has introduced into your vocabulary when a woman is beautiful, she calls them tits on a stick. That's her, like, I hear that over and over again. She walked up to Joanna earlier today and was like, oh, my God, gosh, beautiful tits on a stick. Tits on a stick. <laughs> I'm going to start using that. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. I guess that's good. Well, you you that's, were around I, I, here a lot. You what, know. what did you hear a lot? <laughs> Dick on a stick? You didn't hear that I, sadly, no, I never heard that. Uh, no. I didn't get that description. Uh, I'll, uh, hard, hard I'll we'll, we'll go to. I can't beat tits no, on a stick. How am I going to talk? You need that? to get her book. She she okay. writes them all in her books. Fair I enough. mean, they're hilarious. Yeah. It's just hilarious. So this is. Um, Bravo is just starting this venture into scripted series. They have Girlfriend's Guide to Divorce, and now you guys are the first comedy scripted series. Yep. Um, what does that mean to you guys? It's really awesome to be on the front lines of something. You know, that's very special to us. I guess, you know, we're making a, a, a mark in a way I didn't imagine I'd be able to. So I just feel grateful. I really do. And you can do a lot more on a... Oh, yeah? <laughs> very, <laughs> very upset about it. No, it's so fun. I mean, and you can kind of do anything. I mean, and it's got a... I don't want to say it's got a sex in the city feel because it doesn't necessarily... But it's New York, and, and Julie and Elisa, the main writers with Jill, they were on that for many years, and so they certainly know that world and the world of women and, and that show not really being married. But then, I guess, you know, Charlotte was married. But, um, uh, you know, marriage, and now it's kids. Everybody's grown up and kids and getting into school, and they're dealing with all that stuff themselves, and certainly Jill is. So it's, it's uh, I, I, you know, I think it's quite relatable is that word, that catch word, but it kind of is. It's universal. It's NBC universal, <laughs> you might say. 
bring it all together. Yeah. Um, and last question. Um, I know that you guys have some crazy antics on the season, so give us some teasers for a couple of those. I may or may not make Andy remove most of the hair from his genitals. That's enough for me. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. <laughs> I felt her hands all over me. Yeah. Actually, yeah. I really it. did. No, all like the way to Los Angeles. That was actually a problem on the yeah. set. Yeah. Jill was right. a little specifically with Joanna, not not with me. <laughs> yeah, Bravo. Joanna, but how could you not? Yep. Really how lax. could you not with this dame? Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, and no, we 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 are all so lucky. I to all be together. What a family. What a great family. They, but but it, it feels great, and it was it was so fun. I. Uh, you know, I, I watched, they had put a little presentation together and I watched it and they said, hey, they, you know, you, you want to have breakfast with Jill? And I, I jumped and said, oh my God, I'd love it. And read a little about her and picked yeah. up one of her books, Rockstar and C3A, yeah, which was You're great. I did, oh, it was yeah. great. I mean, and, uh, and oh my goodness, we just hit it off instantly and uh, it became like a two hour breakfast. It was a hoot and it's kind of been a hoot ever since. Now she's your work wife. You have to like her. Yeah. I know, which is a treat. And her, her real life husband, Harry, is a, is a terrific guy. I've met him many times. <laughs> he's required to say that. No, he's a really good you know guy. What, really you know what's to, fun really is, a lucky fella. is having the, the lead mm -hmm. also be the writer. Mm -hmm. That's That really makes it interesting you because she's, that. well, it's just that she's had these things actually happen mm -hmm. to her. So she's writing about something that's very next to her heart and so she can tell it with great panache and, and share that with us so that we get to sort of experience it through her and she's get to not, tell her story was which is magnificent very like i mean everybody on the set from breakfast it was a hoot and it's kind of been a hoot ever since now she's your work wife you have to like her yeah. i know which is a treat and her her real life husband harry is a, is a terrific guy i've met him many times <laughs> he's required to say that no he's a really good you know, guy. What, really you know what's to, fun really he's is a lucky fella is having the, the lead mm -hmm. also be the writer. Mm -hmm. That's that really makes it interesting you because she's that. well, it's just that she's had these things actually happen mm -hmm. to her. So she's writing about something that's very next to her heart and so she can tell it with great panache and, and share that with us so that we get to sort of experience it through her and she's get not, to tell her she story was which is magnificent. Very like I mean everybody on the set from day one like She's never, she never acted. You know, she did a lot of plays at Yale, but but that's you know been a couple of years. And then, uh, God, she's so natural. She's fantastic. She, you know, and uh, and it was true. It all the way, carried all the way through. You sort of yeah. felt like you had to. Wait, we we got to keep up with Cargman here. Up. She's fantastic. Yeah, right. Step up. Well, because the show ha isn't so overproduced. It has mm -hmm. this one voice behind it. It really has a beating heart and soul, and it you can feel good. it when you watch it. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I can tell from the two and a half minute interview that we just did that she's got camera presence. She has no filter, which is amazing. None. <laughs> and she grew up in, in this whole world and uh, her parents did a spectacular job in keeping her sane and not, you know, going off the rails as yeah. uh, sometimes can happen in any, in any 